Ghana's huge agricultural potential has never been in doubt, but certain factors have militated against the country realizing that potential. For long, many have been fixated on the core production of agricultural produce with little attention to other equally important aspects of the sector. One man, however, saw through the shortfalls and decided to fill the gap in those areas in Ghana. Ghana Electrics TV caught up with the Chief Executive Officer of Agri Impact, a group of companies specialized in various agricultural services, including greenhouse technology, Mr. Daniel Akwe, to learn more about his motivation, vision, and prospects of his agricultural services. Um, when I started doing my national service at Ghana Export Promotion Council, I saw a big gap in agribusiness service provision, no product. People will sell salt, animals, maize, and the rest. These are all products. You can have packaged products as well. But when it comes to consulting services, it was difficult to find an agribusiness firm that could provide agribusiness consulting services to individuals and other firms that want to go into agribusiness investment. And I looked at the fact that when you want to do uh, engage services for accounting, management, auditing, and the rest, easily you can talk about KPMG, EY, Price Waterhouse, and the rest. And they have made names in those fields. But when it comes to agribusiness and you want to also have names, in service provision, it was very difficult to find. So that became the dream. Then why don't we set up a company, grow it in the likes of these multinational service providers so that one day in Africa, when you also mention an agribusiness service providing firm, then agribusiness or agri-impact will also come on top. So that was the idea. And as it is in every business, you start small, uh, you start as one person, then you will become two people, and then you will grow and grow and grow. So started as an individual, but registered it as a company. Uh, I must say that you need a strong team to grow a firm. It's not every time that it is money. In fact, the most critical is the human resource that you get and you need people who are committed, sharp and loyal. He said their motivation was to meet international standards and that they vigorously pursued to attract international recognition. I would say that the gap in the service area is what motivated us to go into agribusiness. Then again, if you want to become a company of international repute, then you need to also set international standards for yourself. So for us, whatever you ask us to do, we want to make sure that we have given you an international standard delivery. So that also helped us a lot. And because of that, um, we were able to gain consultancies from most of the major international organizations like uh, UNDP, USAID, uh, Danish Embassy, uh, Dutch Embassy, Spanish, most international organizations that you can think of, Africa Development, but then even uh, public sector institutions, Ministry of Trade, financial institutions and all that. You need to build standards for yourself and the best way is to look at what the global standards are, you benchmark, and you try as much as possible to also live up to that level of expectation. Mr. Daniel Akwe also revealed that there is high demands for agri-services and that has kept them in business all this while. If there is no demand for service, you'll be out of business. So even as we speak today, we have a lot of demand for uh, agribusiness services. It's just unfortunate that we are not exposed to the opportunities of agribusinesses in school. Um, everything in school has been theory, um, 
excuse me to say, some of the lecturers are not even aware of emerging opportunities for young people. With Agri Impact, we mentor. We like working with the youth. We like working with young graduates. And I must say that 90% or more of our achievements have been based on young people. The zeal to impact the youth with these agricultural skills has driven Agri-Impact to collaborate with the National Service Scheme to offer interested individuals the opportunity. We believe in young people, we mentor young people, uh, we, we, we've um, established a project with National Service Scheme um, and that scheme, what we intend to do is that every year we want National Service to assign some young graduates to us. Graduate, not necessarily degree, but whoever who go through National Service, they are assigned to us. We train them, we build their capacities, we give them hands-on experience. And at the end of it all, we give them three pathways. Either we retain you, we also introduce you to other firms that need services because of the training that we've given to you we are competent that the other firms can take you and because we also have a lot of industry networks having done consultancies under 1d1f we have a lot of networks so we can also walk to people and say look these people have been trained in one two three four we knew their demands already I mean the, the companies that demand so we train them and then we can assign these young people also to them and then some of them uh, as long as we have support we help them to also set up their own enterprises. Without doubt one of the notable services of Agri Impact has been the greenhouse technology used to produce various farm produce and Mr. Akwe believes the system has the potential to help Ghana attain food security. We are happy to see that the greenhouse is becoming popular now. Eight years ago we were only few in the industry, when you go and you tell people about greenhouse, they say, oh, the canopy people have come. Because you couldn't, we couldn't even show them some of the greenhouses around. But if you take a classical example of a place in Spain called Ameria, it was a desert. They go there and do movies. Today, as we speak, they have turned that desert into a forest of vegetables, full of greenhouses. It's be, it has become one of the big uh, vegetable hub for the whole of Europe. They export about $2.8 billion per annum, which is like our cocoa export or even more than our cocoa export, just vegetables. And domestic market, they make about $2.9 billion. And that enclave is just one enclave. And that enclave employs over 100,000 people. That is the model that we want to replicate in Ghana where we will can have enclaves of greenhouses and, and, and we will be able to produce for ourselves and also produce for export whilst generating employment for young people. FAO, um, they have projected that by 2050, food consumption might even double. But we will have to produce the doubled food on the same piece of land that we have now. So it does not mean that if you double food consumption, you will need to double area under cultivation. We have to use the same piece of land to produce twice what we are producing. Basically, they are talking about technology. It's only technology that can let us produce twice, three times what we are producing now on the same piece of land. And I'm glad that we have started with this greenhouse. 640 square meters is giving you the same yield that 10,000 square meters will give you. So by the time you get to 10,000 meters of greenhouse, you are feeding a community. The chief executive officer also commended government and for that matter, the Ministry of Agriculture for their support and keen interest in promoting greenhouse technology. We want to appreciate the Ministry of Finance and Ghana Exim Bank and the Ministry of Agriculture for showing 
the way for us. A uh, few weeks ago, the new Minister for Agri, uh, Honorable Brian Champon, was here. He, he has seen what has been done. He is happy, very happy uh, with the greenhouse project and we are hoping that um, it will be on top of his agenda to have replications of this in other regions. And we can have a model where different districts can also have greenhouses. And Agri Impact will train other firms to provide technical services. So each region may have one firm that has been trained with competent knowledge in greenhouse production. And then we can have the regional greenhouse projects, which can even feed into school feeding as long as they will pay for produce that are supplied. Because um, this one, when you have youth, if you have a young guy producing vegetables and you don't pay on time, you must know that the following day, either he has moved on or he's selling to another person who will provide instant money. But we can use greenhouse to also feed institutions.